This is Sean Irwin, your youth director with Darts Ontario. Welcome to episode 16 of Darts Ontario Let's Talk Darts. I wanted to talk to our youth players past and present to see how they got into darts and their story. Thank you to our sponsor, SSS Canada, for all their support in the Darts Ontario organization. Go to their Facebook page to see the high quality custom dart shirts, which you can order for your team or individually. I'm with Zach Van Vliet of the South Brent Youth Dart League, two-time Team Ontario member and two-time Canadian Youth Doubles Champion with his partner, Donovan Pilon. Thank you for taking the time to answer some questions so the dart community can get to know more about Zach Van Vliet. So how are you doing tonight, Zach? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. Uh, appreciate you uh, coming on and so everyone can get to know more about Zach and some of the history you've done in darts, which you've done a lot. So. No so tell me, how did you get started playing darts and when did you start? How old were you? Um, I started throwing darts just for fun when I was like 10 years old. But I didn't really start tournaments till 2018, so two years ago. Yeah. And who inspired you to play competitively? Uh, when we moved to this new house, my neighbor actually played. So my dad and him got along, and we'd always go there Sunday afternoons and throw darts. So I kind of just felt, got the hang of it, and I really liked it. So. Now, how often do you play, uh, do you practice during the season? And do you practice during the off season as well? Um, I do practice in the off season just as much as in season. I usually try to get around an hour a day. So now, I've been we, successful go ahead. with uh, yeah. so. Now, we all know practicing isn't as fun as a real game, but how do you make practicing fun? What, do you, what kind of games do you play when you're practicing? Um, I play honestly mostly just five of one. I don't I'm not really huge about cricket or any of that. I do a lot of around the clock with doubles and triples and all that. But mostly it's just five of one. <clears throat> well, that's the biggest game that everyone plays, so Yeah. Now how do you prepare yourself before a big match getting yourself focused? Um uh, I usually just try to be alone. Most dart players like to talk to people, but I like just being by myself and listening to music so I can just concentrate and just be ready. Now, we all know darts is a very emotional game. And how do you, how do you control your emotions during those big games? Um, mostly, mostly just deep breaths, honestly. Usually have a glass of water with me. And I just try to throw three darts at a time and just hope for the best, I guess. Now, what's the best part of competing um, in darts for you? And what's the most important part of the game of darts? Definitely hitting my doubles. Usually I have some games where my doubles are perfect and my scoring's bad or the other way around. So usually, for the most part, I try to work on my doubles just because that's way more important. And most of the times, that's, that's what messes me up in games and loses me a lot of matches. So. Now, what's the most exciting thing about actually playing darts and being involved in the dart community? Um, I honestly love the pressure and making new friends. And just, I love the game of darts, so. Just love playing every time. You've met a lot of friends uh, throughout the province, but also nationally, which we'll talk about uh, in a bit here. So after a good performance and the match is over, what's the one thing you like to do? Um, I honestly love to just sit down and just breathe because I get really worked up sometimes and I have a hard time controlling that sometimes. Uh, usually I have my parents there, so I just sit there and talk to them about my match and what I can do better next match. So that, for the most part, yeah. That's good. Um, so if your match doesn't go well, as we know, we don't always win. How do you stay focused and concentrate on that next match, especially when you're playing in a round robin match and you know you want to try and get the knockout? Yeah, it's, that's confidence. You need confidence for that. Uh, 
it's pretty easy to lose confidence when you lose a match. Like, let's say you miss like nine darts at a double and it's just frustrating. I just sit back, sit, sit back, relax, have a glass of water and just try to keep my focus on for the next match. Try to just do one match at a time. Yeah. Now we all know we're always learning in anything we do in life and you know, we can't just uh, not practice anymore. Um, you do a lot of practicing, which is great, but what's the one thing you think that you need to improve on to help your game to get to the next level? Uh, definitely my nerves. They get the best of me in a lot of matches. Um, yeah, I get nervous and then I start throwing too fast and then my darts slip, but I've definitely improved in that over the last two years. So, well, it's something that you just got to keep trying to remind yourself of for sure. Yeah. Now, how long have you been in the South Brant uh, Youth League? Um, I think about three years. So now, was the, was 2018 your first provincials? Yeah. 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 Well, let's look at some of your history with Darts Ontario. In 2018, you played your zones and you finished first. The next two years, you didn't have to qualify for the provincials as you earned a buy. Uh, at provincials, you finished top four this year as your first year as a senior. In 2018 and 2019, you finished second in junior male singles. Both times you were defeated by Donovan Pilon in the finals. Take us back to the finals for both of those years playing Donovan on stage. Yeah, the first year I didn't know him. And I just kind of, I was definitely overconfident. I'm like, all right, let's just get this over and done with. That's not the way to think though. Um, yeah, lost to him and uh, we had a really good year at nationals. We won junior doubles together. We played, both of us played amazing. The second year, it was, uh, it was definitely a lot more fun for me because me and him knew each other and we shot a good shot. We laughed about it. We had fun. So losing, losing that wasn't, wasn't the end of the world for me because I was still going to nationals and we still played together and we won that the second year also. So it's definitely really fun playing against him though. Well, that's, uh, we want to talk about nationals. So two years in a row, you went to nationals in Drummondville, Quebec and uh, Saskatoon. Uh, tell us about the experience and results, as you just mentioned about the doubles. But overall, between uh, 2018 and 2019, how was that experience and the results? Um, it was good. I, I, the first year, I didn't do that well. I think I lost first round, I believe. First or second round. I totally forget who I played. Um, but it was definitely fun, really fun the first year because that was the most competition I've had. Um, the second year, I lost to Donovan, of course. And the first round, we had to play each other, so that was kind of tough. But, yeah, so I lost first round the second year also. So, But it was really fun. You, so. you met a lot of people, too. As we said, uh, met a lot of people around the uh, – um, country. Is there anybody that you um, stay, stayed in touch with uh, around the country? Yeah. Um, not really, actually. Mostly uh, Daniel Owens, actually. I've, me and him have played a few times live. Um, that's about it. I haven't really played with anyone from there. Now, I think there's a young lady that you uh, got to know well um, from New Brunswick. Yeah. 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 Jaden Rolf. She's my girlfriend now. So yeah. Uh, yeah. She, she's done really well for herself uh, with um, New Brunswick and going to nationals. And yeah. I believe she actually went to the world cup in Japan as well. Yeah. So 2020, how was that experience playing in the uh, seniors now instead of juniors and take us up to your matches right up to the uh, semifinals against Jason Farnan. Yeah, um, that was, it was more competition for me, for sure. It's the best I've played all my life, honestly. I was hitting doubles constantly throughout the round robin. 
I was scoring high. Um, the first knockout round, pretty um, – I forget who I played. But I swept that match. And then I swept my – all my matches to the semifinal. So I wasn't under that much pressure because I was shooting really well. And then the nerves started getting to me. Like everyone wants me out because I've made it. And it was Jason Farnan's last year. So I don't know, but we were playing. Um, we had to go to a final leg and I was under so much pressure and my nerves got the best of me. I wasn't scoring at all and I didn't even have an opportunity at a double. And he played really well. Like haven't seen him play that well. But so he just he just was cruising along, hitting doubles, hitting triples, and he ended up winning. So Well, we know that Jason really wanted this as it was his last year and you made him work for it. So good job. You've done amazing. So it's, it's hard to stay on top when you're, uh, you know, you win it once. It's so hard to come back and win it twice, which you did go to nationals two years in a row. So hopefully this year we can uh, get back at it and get this COVID away so we can go back to uh, provincials and nationals. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, so with all your success, you played in tournaments, uh, done a lot. Um, has any companies, sponsors uh, come up to you to sponsor you at all? Yeah, I actually have three sponsors right now. So I have L Style, and then I have 180, and Smurf Darts. So. And how did and they I, approach you, or did you approach them? Um, Randy Moffat approached me, and Terry Hayers, and they, they offered, they came up to me and offered me. They heard a lot about me. They seen me in a couple of matches. They thought I was good dart player so that's how that happened and L style was through Terry and then I think also 180 happened from Terry and then Randy from Smurf Darts so well uh, speaking of Terry I'd love to get him on one of my episodes here because he has been to nationals as a youth player more than anybody at all so uh, a lot of history with Terry playing youth darts for sure yeah so what are your goals for the new season and how will you work towards those new goals? Obviously trying to make the team again. Um, just play my game, focus, play as many tournaments as I can, practice as much as I can, and just give it my all. Now we all know uh, darts is a very mental game and you really have to calculate in your head. Um, with all your experience, how have you been able to do, do your math so well in your head while you're on the line and knowing what to shoot right away? Yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been playing darts for a long time, but I didn't start tournaments till 2018. But all those seven years, I've been constantly like adding, subtracting, and learning my outs. So I know pretty much all of them off by heart now. That that card they give you I've used that for like till I till 2018 and I also had a lot of uh players help me out adults and just play with me and teach me the game so that helped a lot well that's a, a big big part of the game is knowing you're out so it's not just practicing at the board and throwing darts sometimes it's just sitting at home and looking at that out card and trying to figure out different ways to take the numbers out. So, yeah. Now, who are some of your biggest supporters as you compete? Definitely my parents. Um, I also have a lot of cousins that I'm really close with. So they're always like texting me when I'm in tournaments, like cheering me on. So yeah, mostly a couple of my cousins and my parents for sure. Obviously my brother and sister are always rooting for me. So. Uh, you've got a lot of support. Uh, a lot of people know you in the dark community and the youth program. And uh, it's always great seeing you play on stage and just playing the game of darts because you have great sportsmanship. So good job. Thank you. Now, do you play any other sports at all? Oh, I play tons of sports. Um, 
not in leagues, but I play – I used to play a lot of soccer, basketball, baseball. Done a couple of leagues for baseball and soccer. So that's over the years. I haven't done that for a couple of years, though. So It's all about darts now, is it? Yeah, that's – I'm trying to make that my main focus. Now, besides darts and sports, is there any other hobbies you have? Uh, I love fishing. I'm pretty big fisherman. That's kind of a sportish, but that's basically my only hobby, really, mm-hmm. fishing and playing darts. So, seems like a lot of youth players play the video games as well. Yeah, I never. I was into that for a little bit, but I'm kind of over that. I don't play a lot of video games, so. Now, do you play any online darts? Uh, and if so, tell us about your experience of playing online darts. Um, I haven't played that much. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but I've played, like I said, I played Daniel Owens on Dart Connect, and I got screened by Quarantine Darts, and I played against, um, oh, what's his name? It's an American up here, isn't it? Oh yeah, Jameson Merritt. Yeah. And I won that nine nine four, I think. Yeah. So I've been successful so far. Yeah, there's a lot of leagues now starting on the online darts because we can't go play in our regular leagues now. So yeah. it's different. So Well, I was also like i yeah. I I was in a league, but then I had to quit because I I worked late late days so i'm never home till like six and then i got a shower and then i'm just play i just practice a little bit and then basically go to bed so now do you have a favorite uh, opponent you love to play against and if there's one player in the world you'd love to play who would that be and why um i definitely like playing Braden hall i've never actually played him in a match um a player i'd love to play I'd honestly love to play Peter Wright. Like, he's b- by far my favorite dart player, and I think it'd just be fun. Yeah, a lot of it, a lot of uh, great dart players around the world, and uh, you learn a lot from players that have that uh, ability for sure. Yeah. So we've talked a lot about your darts. Is there any other highlights you wanted to share about uh, darts over the years? Um. Last year, I went to Gibraltar, and I played World Championship um, for CDC. So I was on Team Canada. We, uh, Team Canada didn't do so well, but I got top 16. And I shot an 80, 80 average, and I lost 4 nothing in the top 16 to Keen Berry. So I was not mad about that. I was happy. There's, there's a lot of great dart players around the world. It's a whole different uh, ball game when you go there. Yeah. Well, one more question as we wrap this up. Uh, any advice that you can give to the younger dart players to help follow your footsteps on what you've done in your success? Yeah, just practice lots. Control your nerves. Um, always stay confident. Even like if you're lo- if you're down three nothing and it's a race to four, just don't lose your confidence. Shoot four great games and take the match. Like you just have to stay confident. Um, times like this, it's hard to practice a lot because it's just a bad time. But just you just gotta keep it up and don't stop playing. Yeah, for sure. Well, you gotta have fun. That's the main thing is having fun doing it too. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you, Zach, for uh, taking the time. We wish you all the best in reaching your goals. Hopefully we see you at some tournaments and, of course, provincials next year. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. That was great talking to Zach. I got to take Zach to uh, nationals two years in a row, and what a great young man and uh, great sportsmanship, as I mentioned. And hopefully he does really well and make it back next year. Make sure you go to our website at www.dartsontario.ca to find out all the information about our organization. Go to our Facebook page and hit like so you get all the updates. Are you a current or former player in the youth program of Darts Ontario? If you'd like to be on one of our episodes, please email me at 
youth at dartsontario.com. This is Sean Irwin, your Darts Ontario Youth Director, and make sure you check out our next episode, 17 of Darts Ontario Let's Talk Darts. Our next guest went to Nationals three years as a youth player. Let's see how this guest has made out playing in the adult program. Thank you for watching and see you next time.